Hey guys, Dargo here and welcome to mission 2 of Ace Combat 7. For this mission I'll be using the F-14D aircraft as well as the boosted thruster and turning modules. For my special missiles I'll be using the 8 AAMs as these were a lot easier to kill the helicopters in this mission and a couple of the drones at the end. Let's get straight into it. To start us off you want to fly as fast as possible to the first couple radar stations and eliminate everything there, especially the APCs as well as the chopper on the right hand side. To do this focus on the AA gun on the right hand side before you start focusing on everything else. After doing this move on to the fourth radar vehicle. You should be able to use your missiles throughout this section to eliminate all the ground vehicles. You don't really need to use the ground based special missile that's available for the F-14D for this mission as most of the enemies are actually spread out so the bombs that actually drop from it won't actually hit multiple targets all the time. For the fourth radar vehicle you want to target it first before you start focusing on the second APC. For the second APC you want to wait for it until it crosses the first house on the left. As soon as you see the marker actually moves in front of that house then you shoot a missile at it before you start moving on to the fifth radar vehicle. Try to get as high as possible before you start firing missiles at it. Focus on the other ground vehicles first before you kill the radar vehicle. After killing it you want to move to the far left APC before you move on to the 6th and 7th radar vehicles. Quickly target and eliminate the APC that's going to be right in front of you. Then perform a post stall maneuver just by holding the accelerator and decelerator at the same time and pull up to the left hand side. This will just cause your aircraft to immediately start turning that way and then you can immediately start focusing on the next radar vehicle. Quickly switch to your special missiles and fire at the four helicopters here. Your missiles should pretty much immediately kill them as they are really stationary and will only hover. Try to then dodge to the left or right to avoid their missiles as they already fired them when you've actually turned towards them. After dodging it you can then focus on the AA gun and radar vehicle before you need to turn your attention to the MiG fighters that are coming in. Try to eliminate both MiG fighters as fast as possible. If you are unable to do it after 30 seconds then you should start focusing on the airfield base. However if you are able to kill at least 4 of the 6 fighters in this section here this makes it a little bit easier to then trigger the A spawn that's coming up. For this base run is essentially really easy, just try to focus on the AA guns first if possible as you don't want to actually take any damage throughout this section. Do not destroy the radar vehicle at this point as you don't want to trigger the next section. Give it a minute to a minute and a half to at least destroy as much of the base as possible before you start finishing off the final radar vehicle. After finishing off the final radar vehicle you want to turn your attention to at least one or two of the remaining MiG fighters that are still in the AO. If there are more try to at least eliminate one to maybe two at most. You want to then turn your attention to the C-17 troop carriers that are still on the airbase and destroy them as quickly as possible. Do not allow them to actually get airborne to then trigger the ace pilot spawn. The ace pilot spawn will be directly below you to your right hand side. You can see him coming out one of the hangars and getting ready to take off. Immediately destroy his craft so he doesn't take off as this makes it a lot easier in dealing with all the other enemies that are still in the AO. You should actually turn your attention to the UAVs as the MiG fighters are actually really easy to destroy by your allies and the UAV fighters are worth a lot more points comparatively to the MiG fighters. So to try to destroy as many UAV fighters if you can to gain as many points as you can to finish off the mission. After killing off all the UAVs in this area you essentially finish off mission 2. 
I hope you guys actually enjoyed this short video and this short commentary as well. If you guys did, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. I'll essentially leave the rest of the gameplay on as this is just me destroying all the UAVs that are in this area. It just takes me a little bit of time, but you can easily just skip to the end to at least get the final scoreboard. Anyway, I hope to see you guys in the next one in Mission 3. See ya. Skies are clear. Nice work, everyone. Mission complete. RTB. You've given us air superiority by destroying their radar. The first barrier keeping us from retaking the space elevator is gone. Now is the time to group up and begin the counteroffensive. Let us reclaim what is ours.